don't stop yourself from enjoying the little things in life because you will regret it one day. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about something that is a little more personal than my last video and that is how my weight stopped me from having fun. So this is more focused on summer last year because I'm just getting comfy uh, because I had some awesome opportunities with my coworkers to have a lot of fun and I was so uncomfortable with myself that I stopped myself from going to these opportunities. So let's start with you knowing what my summer job is. So my summer job is I am a camp counselor at the best camp I could ever ask for. It's a blast. The kids are a blast. Um, I work, you know, from early, early in the morning to like really late at night and I love it. Um, and you know, how can you be upset when you're working with kids? I work with five-year-olds, so they're like a big ball of energy that like some of them you're kind of like, but some, most of them, I fall in love with them. I love them. They are supposed to keep you happy. They're kids. They're innocent. And I was not happy all the time and that I felt showed a lot but it wasn't anything to do with the kids, it was myself. I was super self-conscious all the time and a lot of my job involved me being in a swimsuit, which if you know me, you know I have been a swimmer since the age of three, played water polo. It's, I, I've just always been in a swimsuit, like 85% of my life was in a swimsuit and I just wasn't comfortable in one. I had whenever we had to go to the pool we had to wear a life vest because uh when you have five-year-olds who don't really know how to swim you want to wear a life vest because they're going to be clinging on to you and you're going to be like drowning so i would like put on my swimsuit throw on a towel in the dressing room run across the pool get a life vest on because in that way you couldn't see my stomach and then i would drop the towel and I always felt so bad because I'm like, what kind of example am I teaching these kids like to not be comfortable with themselves? And that was something in my mind that, you know, was always going on. Like my job is to be a, um, not influencer, a role model for f these kids and I can't even show them that. I would also wear t-shirts, not to the pool, but whenever we did like slip and slides or like the bouncy house that had water. Um, I was always wearing a t-shirt, sometimes even shorts just because I wasn't comfortable just being in a swimsuit. And we have an amazing social media program that like to show the parents the things that the kids are doing throughout the week because we are also an overnight camp and I'd run away from those pictures. Like I did not want anyone taking my pictures. I was not comfortable with it. I thought I looked awful. And unfortunately I had to be in a lot of pictures because I was working with these kids and their parents want to know who um, is working with the kids. Uh, but it just, I just, could have made it such a better thing than I did and it was because my weight stopped me. I had horrible anxiety about literally any time I went out with my coworkers. I don't know, everyone would be wearing like really cute clothes and like showing off their body because we were in shorts and a t-shirt for most of the time and I would be wearing like the heaviest jacket I could find, um, like really baggy shorts and I just was never comfortable wearing really cute things. Uh, my sweatshirts were like my best friends and I live in California, it gets hot in the summer. Like you do not want to be walking around in a baggy big sweatshirt in California in the middle of July. Like I'm sorry, it's just not rational. Um, and it was something I did. It was honestly something I did and I'm, at the time, I was very conscious of it, but I didn't want to change it. 
I wasn't okay with stepping out of my comfort zone of sweatshirts and baggy clothes to, you know, and also like I have really attractive male coworkers and I was constantly like, I wonder what they're thinking of me. They think I'm fat. They don't want to be my friend and all of these things. And like, I had really attractive female coworkers, and every time I saw them, I was like, I wish I looked like them. Why don't I look like them? Why I'm like, you know, it was just a lot of comparing myself to people, a lot of telling myself people didn't want to be friends with me because of my weight, when in reality is, that wasn't true. Like, that wasn't true at all. And I even keep in contact with so many of them still. And, you know, this summer, I, the ones that are coming back, I really hope to show them like the real me and how fun I can be and that I'm not an insecure little bitch like I used to be. And I would try so, I don't know, I felt like I was a try hard because I didn't want people knowing the real me and knowing all the struggles that I was going through, my depression, my anxiety, my weight issues, I just tried really hard to not show people that side of me and I guess it kind of backfired because I felt like I could have had so much fun with these people and I never allowed myself to do so. Uh, which brings me to the main reason that I wanted to do this video and that is after camp is over we it's I guess tradition that the counselors take a few days to go to this lake uh lake tahoe it's in california it's about three to four hour drive from camp and it is a place that i've been going to since i was four years four since i was six years old um my family goes up every single year i grew up going there every single year we've had cabins there like uh my friends and i will rent hotel rooms and just go skiing you can either ski during the winter or do water sports in the summer and it's a place that is near and dear to my heart i love it so much and i declined to go on this trip with my friends um my co-workers i was so terrified of being in a swimsuit in front of people um i know ridiculous for me to say swimmer um, but it's one thing putting on an athletic swimsuit, it's another thing when all these girls are walking around in the cutest bikinis possible and you don't feel comfortable in it. They rented a boat and I love boating, I love boating so much, I've boated all across the world, um, and to see all those snapchats and later on see all those pictures and know that I could have had such an awesome time with my friends and I didn't do it. It just, it breaks my heart looking at it now. Like, I was so ashamed of my body and so ashamed of where my mind was back then that I stopped myself from having a blast and making new memories with people who I love to be around. And, you know, like, I'm not gonna do that this summer if the tradition of the trip continues, which I really hope it does. I am definitely gonna go um, because I'm a different person now. I am human. I have insecurities. I It's not like it's a cure-all. It's been a year like I'm suddenly, you know, done, I don't know, 180, 360, whatever. Um, I'm still human. I still, there are certain parts of my body that I don't like, obviously. Um, I'm still working on myself. I go to therapy every week. It's a really, really long process to be at a really healthy mental and physical stage, but um, it's a process that I've been going through for a few months now and I wanna continue to go through. And you know what? It's a marathon, not a sprint. One day I will get there, hopefully. Um, I don't see why not. I don't feel like there's a lot of stopping me once I get my mindset into something. I just wanna show all those people last summer that I am a completely different person and I am ready to put myself out there more. I'm ready to make 
deeper relationships with people get to know people better and not be so insecure i got to the point where i couldn't even look at a certain per or like for most people i had even a hard time looking at their eyes whenever they talked to me because that was just like my way of protecting myself like if people talk to me i'd be like staring at the floor or looking around and that's just not the way to communicate and i i mean like i noticed that i was doing all of that it wasn't like i was oblivious to it uh i noticed that i besides my certain group of like six people that i was with every single day um before work after work during the weekend these people were the people that i was super comfortable with they knew what was going on in my life one of them happened to be my best friend since second grade um so they were very aware of what was going on the rest of the people that i worked with had no idea and that's okay like it's my life i don't have to tell them everything that goes on in my life but i like to be very honest and now i'm at a point in my life where i can be very honest with them and i can't tell them like i'm sorry that the person you met last year was the person you met but i'm not that person anymore and i am secure in myself i am learning to love myself i am learning to take care of myself which is something that is so important to learn i just hope that they see the changes that i've been working on and i really hope that this summer i can be a happy person and not let my weight stop me from making memories and having fun and going boating and being in a swimsuit and talking to guys god damn it like these are my co-workers and i couldn't even talk to half of them and when i did talk to them i pretty much like friend zoned myself i was like these guys are not gonna want anything to do with me and i really hope none of the camp kids see this because yes counselors do get with counselors if you are wondering and i there were so many guys that i was like god damn it you're really attractive but you're probably not attracted to me so i'm just gonna be your like bro because that's where my comfort is um i thought it was so hard for guys to think that i was attractive which i mean looking back at it probably because i was insecure in myself and i don't know i feel like you have to love yourself before anyone else can love you i'm not saying i love these guys like let's be honest it'd be a summer hookup but wow i sound like a slut i'm not a slut i'm not uh i'm not slut shaming either you do you boo but <laughs> it was like it, i don't know now this is just turning into a rant but it in my mind it was so hard for me to wrap the around the fact that some guy out there could actually like me and yes that stems from other things that i'm not going to go into in this video because that's not the topic of this video um but it just i these insecurities it was honestly just i didn't like myself i didn't like who i was i didn't like where my mind was and it just looking back at it now i saw how much that affected me and affected my job and affected my life um i really really am very thankful that i had the opportunity to a get that job b return to that job and c grow in between those two summers and i'm not gonna let my weight stop me from enjoying my summer i have so much stuff that i'm starting to plan for summer and i'm just gonna go out there i'm gonna throw on a bikini and i'm gonna have a great great time i'm not stopping myself anymore and for anyone that has seen this video if you have something to take away from this is don't stop yourself from enjoying the little things in life because you will regret it one day and if any of my co-workers are seeing this video i am so thankful that i had you guys in my life and i'm so thankful that the ones coming back are still in my life and i really hope you guys get to see the new me and i'm really excited and with 
all of that being said, I know this video was not super structured or anything like that. It was just mostly me rambling. Um, but if you have not yet done so, click the red button below right here to subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you feel the same way. I know there's a lot of people who are insecure with themselves, so uh, if not most people. And I would love to share experiences together. So I guess that's all. All right, thanks for watching guys. Bye.